Well, hello. God bless you this afternoon, and God keep you this afternoon. Praise God. I just want to um share with you out my um NLT Bible, reading out of Zechariah, uh, Zechariah chapter eight. It's gonna read about uh promised blessings for Jerusalem. I just smile and thinking and thinking, just how folks is, just how people are. I mean, even your own family. I'm just like thinking, and I'm like, wow. Sometimes it's be like, this is so crazy. But anyway, on that last video, my daughter was trying to figure out was that Matthew chapter 5 about uh, our Father was in heaven. I was trying to tell us uh, Matthew 6, book of Matthew 6, verse 9. Our Father was in heaven. That's what that is. But anyway, praise God. How are you all today? I hope you all is blessed and continue to be blessed. And, you know, hope you all is you know good because god is good all the time even when we're not so good god is still good but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and start reading here promise blessing for jerusalem chapter eight um it said then another message came to me from the lord of heaven armies this is what the lord of heaven army says my love for mount zion is past passionate and strong i am consumed with passion for jerusalem and now the Lord says, I am returning to Mount Zion, and I will live in Jerusalem. Then Jerusalem will be called the faithful city. The mountain of Lord of heaven armies will be called the holy mountain. This is what the heaven, this is what the Lord of heaven army says. Once again, old men and women will walk Jerusalem street with their canes and will sit together in the city square. And the street of the city will be filled with boys and girls at play. And that's also in the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 19. Verse 6 here said, This is what the Lord of heaven army says. All of this may seem impossible to you now, a small remnant of God's people, but is it impossible for me, says the Lord of heaven armies. This is what the Lord of heaven armies says. You can be sure that I will rescue my people from the east and from the west. I will bring them home again to live safely in Jerusalem. They will be my people and I will be faithful and just towards them as their God. And that's also in the book of Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 1. Next verse says, This is what the Lord of heaven army says. Be strong and finish the task ever since the land of the foundation of the temple of the Lord of heaven armies, you have heard what the prophets have been saying about completing the building. Before the works on the temple began, there was no jobs and no money to hire people or animals. No travelers were safe from the enemies, for there were enemies on all sides. I had turned everyone against each other. But now I will not treat the remnants of my people as I treated them before, said the Lord of heaven armies. For I am planting seeds of peace and poverty among you. The grapevines will be heavy with fruit. The earth will produce its crops, and the heaven will release the dew. Once more I will cause the remnants of Judah and Israel to inherit these blessings among the other nations. Judah and Israel became symbol of a curse of of the curse of the cursed nation but no longer now i will rescue you and make you both a symbol and a source of blessing so don't be afraid be strong and get on with rebuilding the temple and that's also in the book of joel chapter 2 verse 22 verse 14 says for this is what the heaven you know this is this is what the lord of heaven army said I was determined to punish you when your injustice angered me. And I did not change my mind, says the Lord of heaven armies. But now I am determined to bless Jerusalem and the people of Judah. So don't be afraid. But this is what this is but this is but this is what you must do. Tell the truth to each other. Render verdicts. It says render verdict your court that are just and that lead to peace don't scheme, or don't scheme against each other stop your love of telling lies that you swear 
are the truth. I hate all these things, says the Lord. And that's also the book of uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse uh, chapter 4, verse 25. Next verse says, Here is another message that came to me from the Lord of Heaven Armies. This is what the Lord of Heaven Armies says. The tradition of fast and time of mourning you have kept in early summer, midsummer, autumn, and winter are now in. They will become festivals of joy and celebration for the people of Judah. So it says, So love, truth, and peace. This is what the Lord of Heaven Army says. People from nation and cities around the world will travel to Jerusalem. The people of one city will uh, say to the people of another, Come with us to Jerusalem to ask the Lord to bless us. Let worship the Lord of Heaven Armies. I am determined mind to go. Many peoples and powerful nations will come to Jerusalem to seek the Lord of Heaven Armies and to ask for His blessing. And that's also in the book of Isaiah, chapter 2, verse 3. Uh, the next verse says, uh, This is what the heaven, this is what the Lord of Heaven Armies says. In those days, ten men from different nations and language of the world will clutch. And it said, will clutch at the sleeve of one Jew. And they will say, please let us walk with you. For we have heard that God is with you. And that's also in the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 14 through 24. Praise God. As I keep on <laughs> thinking, I'm reading about this. They was angry about each other. Back in verse 14, it says, for... It says, for this is what the Lord of heaven Norman says, I will determine my to punish you when your ancestors angry me, and I did not change my mind, says the Lord of heaven Norman, but now I am determined my to bless Jerusalem and the people of Judah, so don't be afraid. But this is what this is it said, but this is what you do. Tell the truth to each other. As I was I was just thinking, you know, I think my my family out there in California and everything and you know, hearing, you know, different things, hearing stuff, you know, they just like Wow, they still ain't changed. They ain't changed one bit. They don't love God. Don't have the love of God in them. You know they still cussing one another out. I mean, it's not no love when you cussing one another out. I don't care if you is married to that person. You know, it's not no love. You cussing your husband out, and he cut. I mean, both of y'all cussing one another out. And uh, you know, I, I said my daughter, she was on the way out there after that last video, but she made it out there. Praise God! And uh, since she been out there. You know, uh, her dad, you know, let him use the, let her use the car to get around, you know. And then she stopped by my sister's house. You know, this, it just made me think how people are. You know, even your own family. So I was just, you know, smiling, you know, since I first, you know, since I got on video just now. I was just smiling. I was just thinking just how people are, you know. And uh, I'm like, wow, even your own family. So it's like, since my daughter is out there now, it's like my sister. You know, she had my daughter running her around, take care of her a little bit, and you know, cause she been in a bad accident over two years ago, and they had cut off three of her, well, two of her toes, and and everything, and it's like, I mean, it's, it's more people she know out there, you know, other than, you know, my daughter, you know, like I said, she just moved back to California, and like, before then, it's like, you know I me, mean? nobody wouldn't help her. You know, it's like all the people that you know, even I got some old sisters and brothers out there. I mean, grown nieces and nephews and got cars and get around and got kids. You know, they got their own thing. But at the same time, it's like, you know, they don't have no love. They, they won't stop by and help you or take, take care of your bit, your, your bed and your bills and, you know, or help you out and everything. And they know you have a kind heart. You will help them and go out your way for them. But it's like, you know, when you really need help, it's like she, she can't get help. And I was like thinking, I was like, Wow, that's crazy. You just think about people. I say nobody, nobody ain't changed. You know, nobody have it. Even not they just we still remain the same. No love of God. They don't love. They don't want. They don't love. They don't. They don't love one another. First of all, they don't love God. You. They don't want. They don't want to help me. I mean, they don't want to help. Each, they won't even just help each other. When people need help, I don't care who it is. People need help. Somebody need help. You know, they got all their own selfish ways, and they think about the past. They think about you hurt my feeling. You know, they don't want to do that. They don't want to do that. I mean, this jealousy, this hatred, which is crazy. You know, it's not even the love of God in them. That's not God when you treat one another like that. 
And I was just thinking, okay, my daughter out there, you know, now it's like she's been running her around, taking care of, you know, help, helping her out, taking care of, take pay her bills, whatever, taking her around and get food, whatever, you know, she needs to do. I mean, you know, just helping out. And I was just like, wow. So my sister left me a message while I was at work, you know, wanting to know my daughter's phone number. And when I called her back, it was like, yeah, I'm looking, I'm, her, I'm trying to get a, you know, a case phone number. And I'm all like, okay, I gave it to her and everything. Said, so, yeah, I want to take him to the, uh, you know, to the bank and this. And I'm like, to myself, I thought, I should have said, I, I, I should have said, I could have said, you couldn't get involved with me. I mean, before she moved out there, back out there, you know, what would you do if she wasn't out there? How would you, you know, who was going to take you to pay your bill or take you to the bank, whatever, you know, I, I mean, but I didn't say nothing. I gave her the phone number and everything, you know. I already told my daughter, you know, you go out there and take, your, take care of you, take care of your business, do what you need to do. Don't put yourself aside for nobody. You know, keep God first, take care of your business, get yourself together, you know, then, you know, go out, you know, go out to help, you know, help somebody else, help her or whatever, you know. But first of all, take care of you and yours. You know, take care of yourself. You know, you ain't you no kids, but, you know, like, take care of yourself, get yourself together, do what you need to do. You know, I mean, nobody not going to do it for you. Take care of yourself while you're out there first. You know, and um, then go, you know, if, you know, you want to go do all that. You know, praise God. Your blessing come from God. It's a blessing that you helping somebody, you know. And it was a blessing that you out there, you know, because she said my sister was praying for somebody to help her. And so, and then, you know, and then before you know it, my daughter moved back out there. And, you know, she's been helping her since she got out there. I'm like, wow. I'm like, I so told my daughter... Spend time and take care of yourself. Get yourself together. Do, do all you got to do. Look for your job and do what you need to do. Then, you know, drive over there and, you know, help her out and whatever. But praise God. I'm just like thinking. I'm like, wow. They just have not changed. They just have not changed. You know, they want the blessing, but they don't want to go through nothing. They don't want to see God. They don't want to do the will of God. They don't want to give them praise and the glory only when they got money. You know, when a favor come their way or somebody to help them, then they want to thank you, Jesus, praise God. But before then, it's like, you ain't praising God, you ain't working, you, you just got drama, you, you just, I mean, just same old, same old. I put it the same old, same old. It's not nothing new to me. All right, to, no, not to me, it's not nothing new to me. Same old, same old. But anyway, praise God. I, just wanted, I wanted to share that with you. I was like, wow. They're trying to tell me about how my daughter and daddy look. You know, he look good, he did. And I'm like, I don't care about all that. I don't care how about somebody's look. If they ain't got God, they don't look like nothing. They still tore up if they ain't got Jesus. I don't care who look good or what he look like. If he ain't got God, you know, he ain't hear nothing. I don't care what he look like. He got to have God. He got to get saved. He got to change, get in the will of God, do what's right. You know, regardless if he ain't doing nothing wrong, but he need to get into the righteousness, get into God's way. I said, I don't care nothing about how he look. You know, and you should not be caring about how he look. You know, well, I mean, you know, worry about your own husband, how he look. You know, feed him. You know, so he can gain some weight. You know, something. Praise God. I mean, I was just, <laughs> I was like, wow, people. I said, wow, that, that's that's something. But anyway, I'm going to finish, you know, reading here. I'm going to read out my um, God instruction book. My God, my little God instruction book here. It says, it's good to be a Christian and know it. But it's better to be a Christian and show it. Uh, John chapter 13 verse 35 says, By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. If ye have, it says, if ye have love one to another. Sorrow look back. Sorrow look back. Worry look around. Faith looks up. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 says, Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter, of faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. A man is never in worse company than when he flies into a rage and is beside himself. Proverbs chapter fourteen, verse seven. No, Proverbs chapter fourteen, verse seventeen. It says, "He that is soon angry, deal it." It's indulgent foolishly. Success in marriage is more than finding the right person. It becomes the right person. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 11 says, But thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, 
godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Failure in people is caused more by lack of determination than lack in talents. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. A man is rich according to what he is, not according to what he has. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 7 says, There is that maketh himself rich, yet hath nothing. There is that maketh himself poor, yet hath great riches. Life can only be understood by looking backwards, but it must be lived by looking forward. Luke chapter 9 verse 62 says, And Jesus said unto him, No man having put his hand to the cloth and looking back, it fits for the kingdom of God. Success come in a can, failure come in can't. Philippians chapter 4 verse, uh, verse, Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, it says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Sometimes we are so busy as an up Sometimes we are so busy adding up our troubles that we forget to count our blessing. Psalm 77 verse 11 and verse 12 says, I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember thy wonder of old. I will meditate also of all thy works and talk of thy doing. Falling down doesn't make you a failure, but stand down does. Proverbs chapter 24 verse 16 says, For a just man falleth seven times and rise up again. If a taste is once begun, never leave it till it's done. Be the labor great or, or small, do it well or not at all. John chapter 17 verse 4 says, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou goest, which thou gavest, which thou gavest, me to do this is more valuable than money because time is irreplaceable Ephesians chapter 5 verse 16 it says redeeming the time because the days are evil the best way to forget your own problem is to help someone solve his Philippians chapter 2 verse 4 says look not every man it says look not every man on his own thing, but every man also on the things of others. Let me read this last one. It says, God can heal the broken heart, but he has to have all the pieces. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 26. It says, my son, give me thine heart. You praise God. And God bless you. God keep you. And thank you once again for tuning on to me once again. As always, praise God. I mean, this has been a blessing, you know, for me to just read to you all, share with you all, and pray for everybody. I'm going to do it anyway, whether if I'm on YouTube or not. But I just thank God, you know, I mean, it just, like, wow. You know, like, this thing just happened for a reason, you know. Here I am sharing with you all, you know, about just, just people, even my own family. You know, it's like, wow. I would be like, think, I'd be like, wow. And so say, you couldn't get nobody to take you nowhere. You know, but I've been trying to get my daughter out of this state for the longest. I just thank God, you know, for letting her move, 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 move back home. Just go back home, glory be to God. And, you know, get back into the world, go back to these, you know. So we was going to, uh, we was going to City Refuge and everything, you know, before we moved out here and everything so i guess i don't know she's gonna go back to city refuge bishop north jones church i don't know she's gonna tend to go there or what i don't know but praise god it's on her if she do but i told her most of all most of all just get in the world do the will of god you know and get involved you know uh to these at these church whatever church she decides to go to i don't know she decides she'll decide to go to the church with the church i went to when i was 11 years old um, out there on Figueroa, um, I'm a ride back to church when I was 11, Pastor Melvin V. Wade, um, I don't know if she gonna go over there, that's, a, that's where I had, got baptized and praise God when I was 11, but anyway, I, you know, I just told her, pray and ask God to, to lead you and guide you to the, 
you know, to the building, to the house of the Lord, you know, where he knows what's best for you. And, um, and that's about it. You know, most of all, like I always say, the church has to be in you. The church must be in you. You have to live by the word, not just read it and, you know, quoting the Bible. You have to live by the word. Praise God. You got to do what it say to do. Praise God. You have to be real about it all at the same time. Keep it real. Be real at all times. Get your life together. Live right. Do the right thing. Because God, I mean, when you move, do the right thing. God, you know, he, he knows your heart. He sees you. And he will move in your direction. You know, praise God. He will move in your direction for the best, for the for the better, for the good. At all times. Yes, he will. Praise God. But anyway, God bless you. God keep you. I'm going to pray for each and every last one of you. In spite of whatever, you, whatever you're going through. I don't know what you're going through. Only God knows. God sees you. He knows your heart. He knows what's best for you. I mean, you know, you can go through things and everything and... You know, things may get all off course for a little while or something like that, but God will get you back on track. You know, we all fall short, but, you know, the thing is, we don't stay short. We don't stay down. I mean, we get back in order, get our bones back straight, get in order with Christ Jesus and keep on going forward. Don't even let the behind, don't let the past stop you. Don't let the past drag you, you know, to a disaster headache. You know, this. you know, to stay focused and stay strong and, Humble yourself. Glory be to God. Get them bones back straight. Get the bones back on all the glory be to God. Because your blessing is up ahead. Glory be to God. Yes, it is. Heavenly Father, God bless you all. God, keep our praise the one that's watching today, Lord. I pray, Lord, you just bless them, keep them, protect them in every area of their, of their life. God bless them and their family in Jesus' name. I pray they go forward. Don't worry about backwards. Move on forward. Don't worry about behind. You know, look on ahead. Look on forward. In Jesus' name, glory be to God. I pray in the web form against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. Because you can do all things through Christ that strip you in Jesus' name. And I pray for everyone that may be sick or may not be feeling good right now. You may be going through some heartache, bad heartache, pains, whatever. Breakup, a job, a looking for a job, or losing your house, or losing something, or losing maybe a family member, somebody you love close. I don't know. I just pray, the Lord, to keep you strong. You know, I pray, the Lord, this uh moving your direction right now in Jesus' name. Heal and touch. You know, right where you are, heal and touch right ever, whatever you may be painting, hurting right now. I pray, Lord, just fix it, put it together for the better and for the good in Jesus' name, in spite of whatever it is, because nothing is too big. Nothing is too big for God. He can handle it all. In Jesus' name, I pray. I just pray you just make up your mind and stay focused. You know, stay strong for yourself. In Jesus' name, get yourself back in order. Get yourself back together. In Jesus' name, glory be to God. And I pray, Lord, for somebody may be missing. Somebody may be uh, uh, just walked out the house or haven't been seen. Lord, I pray you would just move in their direction. Lead them back home safely with their family. In Jesus' name, I pray. Whatever, no matter who it is, a man, boy, girl, uh, you know, uh, it don't matter who it is, Lord. I just pray in my name, Jesus, move in their situation, move in their behalf. Woman, man, boy, girl, whoever it is, in Jesus' name, glory be to God. And protect them in Jesus' name. Bring them back, bring them back home safely in Jesus' name, glory be to God. And I pray for the one that's doing without law. Somebody may need some food. Somebody may need, may need water. Somebody need, maybe need a place to stay. Somebody may need a job in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, you just move in their direction. Send your helpers to help them in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Because I believe, Lord, you will move and send your angels wherever they are in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Help them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I just pray that my name of Jesus, that you have just be, uh, the Lord is guide you and protect you going in and coming out. Whether you're on a plane, in traffic, standing, walking, or in, uh, just in the car, whatever. I don't know. I just pray, Lord, to be with you and keep you. You done move in your direction in Jesus' name. And you are somebody in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Stay blessed. You know, just don't worry about stress. Because you are blessed. You done put all that stress. Get all that stress out of you. It's a, just keep your mind focused on blessed. You are blessed. In Jesus' name. Glory be to God. God bless you and God keep you. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. You know, you just too blessed. You is too blessed to be stressed. Glory be to God. You have to rebuke that devil in Jesus' name. Tell that devil to get back behind you in Jesus' name. You know, you too blessed to be stressed. And, you know, and God don't want you to be stressed. He don't want you to worry. He don't want all that, you know, chaos going on with your life and your mind and your soul. You know, because you're blocking out the blessing when you do them things. The devil wants you stressed. The devil want to corrupt you. The devil want to kill. That's what is his job to do is to kill, steal, and destroy. But God is here to give you life. 
abundantly to the full, to the overflow. He wants you to be blessed and stay blessed in Jesus' name because he loves you and cares for you in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. God bless you and God keep you. And I pray you just walk by faith and not by sight in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Until next time, remember God loves you and so do I. You have a wonderful, blessed day in Jesus' name. See you later. God say the same.